since I was about to light it, I figured I'd show you our uh, waste oil heater here in the shop. Uh, this is built off a uh, design from Gary's Waste Oil Heater. He has a channel on YouTube. He events all these wacky things. So all this is is an old uh, like parlor stove. or coal, It's a coal stove, but it burns whatever. has a normal chimney. So there's a hole blown in the bottom of it. I think it's like a four-inch hole. And there is this pot. Just sticking now. So you have a pot here with a pipe in it. That pipe goes through that hole in the bottom of the stove. And the pipe has holes blown in it. And then that's diesel fuel in there as I'm about to light it. So it just goes reinserted into its hole. And as this runs, there's a tube right here. And that drips directly into that bowl. So once it gets going on the diesel, uh, slowly start adding oil to it until it gets hot enough to burn the oil. And that's really it. Uh, you close all the vents on the stove, any kind of way air can get in, except for that hole in the bottom. And you leave the, the, the flue on the chimney open. And basically it sucks all that air in, blows it through that holes and superheats whatever's in that pot, like a blowtorch. And it actually works surprisingly well. It's quiet. It doesn't need any kind of outside power source. No air supply, no electricity, nothing. We have our oil in this tube here. So I'll get it lit here for you and then I'll show you after a few minutes once it's warmed up. You can see it better now that it's lit. The noise you probably just figured out with the torch in the background. Now once this thing really gets going, that pot, if you peek through one of the things in the stove, is glowing bright orange. So when the oil hits it, it actually vaporizes the second it contacts it and ignites. There we go, that should be suitably lit. I can start opening the oil here. And I'm sure the camera will be able to pick it up. But if I look in there, the oil will start dripping down. You kind of got to set it to a... Like a real slim trickle is what it likes. That sizzling you hear is the oil going in. It's not hot enough to burn yet. I'll show you what it's like after a little bit of running once it gets up to temperature. Here it is now that it's running pretty good. It's been a few minutes. Start with the bin in the way. You can see I got like 400 degree chimney temperatures. It's roaring pretty good. That's completely on waste oil now. You can see the pipe in the center there, the oil dripping in. You can see how it dies down when I open it. And it kicks back up. It needs all that air going through that pipe. I'm show you more here. There's the fire without the uh, direct oxygen source. See, it gets quiet. Then it goes back to blowtorch again. But it takes a little bit, but eventually it'll get it up to like 65 or 70 in here. So there's our, uh, our heat source we can use up the motor oil with. 